Joe Corms, four o'clock. First up is the minutes, or two minutes of 517. I sent them around late at, late this afternoon. Uh, everybody got a copy? I think Brandy got some, some printed copies yeah. if you want them. Yeah. I'm not going to make a motion since I wrote them. Okay. So, any, somebody else. I'll make a motion to approve them. Okay. Second. Motion second. Any, any corrections, comments? None? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Um, Everybody was here, so no sense in really reviewing the pictures of the. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> if, if Andy and Walter were here, I was going to put the pictures up for the uh, Montague and South Deerfield places, but um, I have them here, obviously. But uh, no sense in us just looking at what we've already seen. Um, any general comments on the tour? Um. I mean, I think Montague's size was very similar, but the gradient heat in the floor, that, yes. was, the, that was the big take yes. from them that we got. Yep. That yeah. really, we got to really concentrate on. Because what they used in fuel was like, when he told me that, I was like, for this place? Really? Yeah. Oh, what did he say that he used? Six to, 600 to 1,000 gallons of oil. Oh, they, they heated it with oil, huh? Yes. But radiant heat. Radiant, I, I, I know, but it, but still. So they use about a thousand. What's high side? High side a thousand. They use a thousand gallons a year. And the other guy. And Grafton uses roughly. Let's be conservative. Three thousand gallons every two weeks in a cold season. Yeah, that's yeah. propane. That's propane Which because they got. Well, they have forced hot air for one thing. And, and just the design of their system is not the best. Right. Even at that. What a difference! Yeah. I mean, you're, you're talking. Yeah, I was I was amazed at the way that was. Better drying the truck, it's better oh, working, yeah. everything. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you it, open it, the doors, you close them, the heat's right coming right back in. Yeah. yeah. And when concrete gets, but yeah, it takes a while for the concrete to get warm. But when that concrete gets warm, there's, it there's stays mass. there for a long time. Yeah. Oh, Wally came. Oh, Wally's wow. here. How'd you find time? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Now you got to show the pictures. Yeah, we could. You can you can put pictures up on the screen, correct? Um, I, I need to go get a cable. I think. I he's got them on a thumb drive, right? I got them on a thumb drive. How many are you going to show them? Four minutes. Probably. I don't know if we're going to show any. I want to ask if they want to see pictures. I got the presentation. I don't know if they're going to want to see pictures. I, I, I don't know what they're going to want to see. Me. they got a lot on their agenda. Right. And I don't want to have them going the whole time. Like the family you know, I don't want to um, drag this out too much longer than we have to. I mean, right. I'm not, we'll see if they want to see something. If they want to see something, we'll put some up. But I got a feel they're really going to want to hear what's, what we've done, where we're going, and what our recommendations are. I don't want to hear any of it. <laughs> you, can, you can walk out. <laughs> Make that motion, then, Randy. Yeah. Let's vote. <laughs> move the mo move the motion. <laughs> okay. Here's the Thank you. And well, we get it off here. Good idea. <laughs> Did you guys go to a couple more places? We went to Montague and South Deerfield. That's the ones we're going to show. You already okay. saw the other ones, right? Yep. I so did. I just want to go over the ones that uh, the ones <coughs> there's, there's not. There's only about I don't know, maybe 60 pictures there. We can go through them pretty quick. Okay. Did you like them? They were nice. Yeah. They they, they had the biggest thing we liked about was it South Deerfield or which one had the in, in, the, the in Montague. Floor? Montague yeah. had an in 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 floor radiant heat. Mm -hmm. And they said that they used about a thousand. These heat with oil too, not uh, propane or okay. gas. They use high side. Let's say they use about a thousand gallons of oil to heat. The whole, the whole big building. Yeah, the, the whole, whole building. Season. Yes. Season. Grafton that has propane overhead yeah. forced hot air uses roughly in the coldest season of the year. They use about three thousand gallons every two weeks. Yeah, I remember you saying which that. Which one you wanted to do? Um, June 5th? 
May 5th. May, June, uh, June, June, I'm sorry, June. And then yeah. I'm going to open all of them. We've got radiant gym in one of the barns. You, who does? We do. You do? In yeah. the floor? In the dirt in the floor. floor. No. In the <laughs> <laughs> you can do it in dirt floors, though. I'm sure you I've can. I've seen it. Well, that's the new thing in the greenhouse. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 So we use about 1,200 gallons of oil a year. But we only keep it 55, 60. We don't Which keep it you that warm. You, and, and the garage wouldn't be much warmer than that. You don't really need it warm. Because right. you only want to dry the place out and keep it above freezing. Yeah. And because if it gets too warm in there, it's uncomfortable to work with all the clothes on. The only catch is if you're washing stuff, the humidity gets out of hand because it evaporates off the floor. Okay, the only thing we're going to, the only thing is we'll be, the wash bay would be separate. Okay. Separate, separate, yeah. separate room, for lack okay. of a better term. Yeah. And you will be getting the, the uh, uh, dripping and the water and the salt, everything else melting. So you will have some water in there. And don't forget, though, that those all have the vent fans. So the minute you open the door, you're sucking air on okay. the top of it anyway. So that's okay. good. Okay. First picture. We just had it. There we go. Oops. I'm just minimizing the. Is a near field facility. That's the one who visited first. That's the outside view. Okay, next. That's the uh, the one thing that was kind of neat about the near field facility. If I remember, they kind of had most of the electricals into one room as opposed to different panels all over the place. They did have some, but they seemed to have a central electrical uh, room, and that obviously will free up some wall space throughout the In facility as okay. opposed to having a bunch of panels. <coughs> <laughs> they got a pretty complex system too. Okay, next. That's all the. Wow. Yeah. Next. Yeah. They had like that. That room was just all panels. Next. That's their break room. Very nice break room. Next. They had a. What? That's they had a small washer, washer over dryer. Every facility we've been to has their own. I had their own washer and dryer. Some big ones. Some. This is a smaller one. That's more like an apartment size. Next. That. I forget what that was. It's hot water. water. Hot water system. Right. Okay. That's there. Yeah. Next. That's the garage. Next. Okay. They didn't really clean up before we came. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, all the other places you could tell that they would eat off the floors. These yeah, guys yeah. left everything in the middle. Yeah, this, this looked more like a working per, working group shop. We did not qualify as dignitaries. <laughs> yes. Next, did you show the garage? Next. Um, oh, they had those that big emergency light. Most places had emergency lights. Their battery backup with a small. Um, Almost a motorcycle-sized battery. It's even smaller. Uh, these guys had regular full-size 12 volt <laughs> auto batteries for whatever <laughs> and reason. They, and and the, the, the building's thing. generated, so the, yeah. all the lights right. come on. Yeah, they had a they, they had a yeah, so why did they have battery they, they, they must have had. I don't know. They had a dozen of these. At least they had power. They were everywhere. It does, but even the even the even the the guy was bringing us around complaining that they put these things in. He's got a battery. I mean, the fire station has the battery. And these are all small little auto batteries that run for twelve volts for twenty-four hours. The only thing, the only good thing is that they haven't replaced them. Any of the batteries as they put it in. Of course, the facility's not that old. Yes, it is. This yeah, is, it's, yeah this, is, this is, what, two, t 10 years old or so, right? Yeah. It's not just that, what was it, 15? <laughs> I can't remember. 15? Yeah. Yeah. 15. And, yeah. uh, but because it's got the generator, you know, I don't, we don't know, they, even they couldn't explain why they had the battery. But anyway. Because the generator is not life, it's not an emergency generator. It's a standby generator. Oh. So while it does kick the electricity on, it's not, it's not intended as a life safety system. So oh. all the life safety systems, including the fire alarm, will have battery backup oh, okay. as a result. So okay. that would be, if we build a new facility, we would need stuff like that? Correct. Unless and you turn, can you make the that. generator turn everything on, like at the fire station? Well, it does. 
I, I don't quite understand. I don't have to go back and ask. Is it because if the they, generator doesn't start or something? That's got to be it. Yeah. yeah, correct. Right. So they had one of those almost on every side of every door. Yeah, we don't. We don't. We won't need to have separate emergency lights like that. That's probably because they were maybe they were added in after the fact or something. Typically, what we do now is, you know, a third of these lights would be on the emergency backup, for example. So they would be battery powered temporarily. Okay. This this place actually has a battery back yeah. tank like that. Okay. Yeah. And, and that would have been a combo unit, not that big. Right there. That's right. yeah. Yeah. Right. We wouldn't need a special separate. Okay. Next. Just some storage shelving next. That just shows the radiant radiant heat of all ceiling. Yeah. Next. That's their oh that's still part of the garage, right? Next. Next. Yeah, that just shows you can see every by every single door they have those emergency lights. As opposed to you know like just over a few. Uh, yeah, I think that's an alternative to putting some of the standard lights on the emergency system. Okay. Next. That's just the overhead crane. Next. Yeah, that's that's their, their lift. They had a, they didn't have the big eighty thousand pound um, N four ones like some of the other ones had. I think this was a, was it a sixty thousand pound something like that? Yeah. yeah um, but and it was drive on as opposed to the one that was in the floor. But he said that would lift, this lift would lift up any vehicle they have. So, okay, you can see the orange reel, that's the uh, exhaust system remover. Next. Yeah, it's a better view of that. Next. Then they had a portable. Um, well, no, it's the, that's bolted. It's yeah, it's bolted small. full, but it was, yeah, it was a different lift, lift. yeah. For look, look, picking up half of a vehicle. Next, they had a. This was an interesting one. They made a welding shop. Nice welding shop with no exhaust in it. It's in a little alco alcove there, so there's like a cave. Okay. Yeah. So you start welding, and the fumes just yeah. build right it's, up and drop it's, and it's, set off. And the said, smoke he, starts going. You know, he says the sometimes the welding in there, and the smoke gets so thick you can barely see them. Oh, <laughs> well, I'll keep you moving. Well, yeah. <laughs> Next. That's just the another you know, lift again, the same lift. Yeah, that's, that's just a picture of the actual brand of the lift, so we can, if we're interested. Next. That's their oil room. They didn't. They had. Did not. They did not have a central loop system, right? No. 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 They had an individual. Yeah. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, like a, like carts. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and cans they would wheel around. Next, the lift. Next, they had a nice mezzanine for storing. They had a good size mezzanine in there for storing stuff. The I think the wheel went to the left. Is like a gate where a four truck would pick stuff up and bring it in. Next, and yeah, they could show that you know the options for they could pick up. The uh, front end of the, the sub individual individual parts of the vehicle, front lifter. Next, their salt shed. Next, yeah, their their salt shed was pretty nice. That they had wings on each side of it for and storage, storage for, for putting stuff under cover. Next, yeah, you can see it right there. The uh, fuel room, fuel area. Next. Salt shed. It was all that was that was a wooden lower part with like a um, like a metal metal up up top. Ne go ahead. Next. Next. Yeah. The problem that they had there was their plywood didn't go up. It doesn't go up high enough, and the salt when they dumped. At least I noticed it. Is falling over behind. The top behind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's a hollow wall behind it or if there was like a shelf. I couldn't see that, but it's like the, that plywood should have been another, I mean, uh, another foot or two higher. But it was very nice, good, good solution. Nice high doors. Next. That's what I'm looking to. 
that's at the on the underside, but stores yeah the outside storage under by the salt shed next. Outside view next. Next. That's just that where they got um, different loans and stones, everything stored. Next. Now we're in Montague. Next. The outside of the building. Next. Next. That's their break room. They had a nice break room. All, all the places we had are nice kitchenettes, or actually almost a full kitchen and break room for the, for the employees. They must be selling eggs there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, the one, uh, what do you call it? Deerfield is a little smaller, though. This is a. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that one's probably three times the size of Deerfield. Yep. Yeah. Oh. I think Next. Montague's got a lot more employees than Deerfield. Yeah. <coughs> I think, was it the. Uh, was it Montague said so they had 130 miles, 120 miles of road to take care of? Something like that. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. a big town. Yeah, yeah. but they also, they, they also take care of uh, Turner's, Turner's and uh, all the city. Uh, not just themselves, but yeah. surrounding areas. By, um, yeah. by boroughs or whatever yeah. you want to call it. It's all Montague. It's just yeah. you know, and, 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 and they take they have a lot of hills because we go to there. So you see their salt shed. They have salt sheds at half. They have salt and sand and then pure salt because they have so many hills to pull up and down. Next, they have big lockers. This was nice. Their lockers had a wooden seat with a drawer underneath, shoes. underneath each one. Those are more like uh, police, police yes. lockers. Yes, yes, very yeah. similar. Yeah. And uh, so you could put like your shoes and stuff in the sh in the drawer underneath and sit on mm -hmm. those little wooden benches and change your clothes, change your sock, your your shoes and stuff like that, boots, whatever it might be. That was a nice setup. Next, yeah, you can see the drawer open there. Next. Next. This is their. That's where they park the vehicles. Yeah, park their vehicles. Next. Here we go. Yeah. And something they said about that they oversized their the rafters and the roof so they could span right. a much farther distance so they didn't have to have any posts in the middle of the floor. Right. Oh, so they yeah. clear span all the way. Yeah, yeah free span, yeah. yeah. And uh, <coughs> this is the one that has the in floor radiant heat. You can see nothing. The only thing above is just some exhaust removers and you know sprinklers and whatever. Next. Next. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> because you see, those are those are massive roof beams. If you look to the back, to the left, where that like piece of metal is, that's where their washroom is on the other side of that yeah. vinyl tarp that they have. Here. Okay, is that a drain going down the floor? Yeah, 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 yeah. So the, their wash base is a curtain. Yeah, they just have a like a. I think it, it's it's a partial wall at the bottom, and then oh, just I see. to, to yeah. keep this. It's. I think we might, we know, we might have pictures of it next. They got they got a lot of good sized mezzanine storage and stuff like that too. Yeah. The yellow that, that yellow yeah. was the gate. Is where they put the forklift up to the forklift. Next, that that's not an ambulance. That is a ambulance that was, I guess, that they re with they, they converted into a maintenance uh, sewer service camera. vehicle. Sewer oh. camera. Oh, sewer, yeah, sewer, sewer that's a sewer camera vehicle. Oh, okay. Yeah. Next, just a picture of the big beams. Next, that's up on the that's on the mezzanine. Wow. That's huge. Yeah. You can see the, yes. see, the, see the size of those beams. Those are, yeah. Next. Is that a cement floor on the mezzanine? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Yeah. They put a pallet up there and they have a pallet jack up there. How sweet is that? Around. That yellow thing flips up. Yeah. Put yeah. it down, flip it back over, and you can't fall through. <coughs> Next. There's the wash bay. Oh, back up. Oh. That's the wash bay. Okay. They didn't have the. In no, they didn't have. That was just. They just like had the. They pressure. just had the pressure washer. Yeah. There. It's yeah. the pressure washer. Yeah, it's partial brick, and then it's yeah. just a tarp. Next. 
all shed. Next. Get some beef store. That's the they have storage containers outside for storage. That's where they have all the plow the plows. Next. Some guy walk in. <laughs> Next. That's the fuel island over in the back. Next. There you go, that's the salt and sand side by side because of the hills and stuff. They had the same thing there. Their, their walls could have been a little higher. A little yeah. You can see where they yeah. are. A lot higher. They got a lot of gravel roads in that town too. Uh -huh. Next. Next. There you can see that, you guys see the, see the salt going over the side. Going over yeah. the side. Next. That's a, they had a big, oh, most of the places we went yeah. to had five two and one had a couple, some had a five ton crane. This one had a big 10 ton bridge crane. That's a, that's a big monster. Next. That's where you get their maintenance being, the lifts. Next. That's the portable lift. Yeah, yeah that's, yeah. And I think they're what, 16,000 yeah, pounds they, per corner. Next. Corner. Yeah. next. Uh, yeah. Oh, I don't, Okay, there. Oh, back up. I think it says it on it. it Those are... Five. 18, that's right. Yeah. First time I've ever seen it like it, well, what it is, it's like a post, and then it has, looks almost like a, little, a fork truck. A, a okay, fork, fork truck. Yeah. 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 It picks up, it goes on each side of the dualies. So if you want to pick, they have six of those. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. Six of them can lift a, a fire engine. Yeah. So are they all wired together? Yeah. So they lift together? Correct. Yeah. yeah. They're all coordinated. Yeah. yeah, you can coordinate them, you can individually lift That's them. That's pretty sweet. So that... Uh, they become quite popular from, from some of the DPWs we work know. with. Yeah. Some like it. Some, that's that's all they want, actually. Others, not so much. And it, 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 you know, he, the guy that was there said, well, kind of, it's some, sometimes he, when you want to change a wheel or something, you get kind of a, a little bit of a pain. Right. But right. no matter what you do, when you pick it, even if you want to change a tire, you still got to somehow support the axle. They have these, I think I've got a picture of it. Next. I know I do. See, there's like a little TV screen on each one of those things telling you what's going on. What but the other ones you mean? What? But I think there's a cent there's usually a central control okay. station. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You Can you stick it under the frame to lift the frame, Jim, to do a wheel? I believe or one of the um, I think they come with accessories that'll let like, you might you might be able to. I mean, certainly because they're 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 V shaped like this. If you could get it under the frame, you certainly could pick the frame. Probably in the back end or something. Yeah. Next. Right. The, oh, next. Yeah, like oh, back up one. Those red units to the left are the jack stands. So if you want, you can pick the wow. vehicle they roll around too. The, the, the uh, jacks. jacks. That's a serious jack stand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's wheels to move it around so you don't have to yeah. pick it okay. up. Yeah. Yeah. I bet you each one of those things probably weighs, uh, had to weigh 150, 200 pounds. They were wow. monsters. That's the weld area over inside with the, with the exhaust hood. Next. They had that lift also. Next. That's their big bridge crane that runs. The length almost of, of that little bay. Next. Storage area on a wall. Next. Yeah. Looks like they didn't have overhead uh, lube system either. No. 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 He was. I think he's the one that said, at this point in time, there's so many different lubes you need that yeah. you just can't have enough heads to take care yeah. of it. Mm. Next. There's the jack stands. Yeah, those are some serious <laughs> monsters. But though that right now, that's probably they, they stand about three foot off of the floor, just as you stay right there. So, and of course, then you could put the extend those posts and make them much higher. But uh, we, I touched one or to move it around. It's like this is, like you said, this is heavy duty. Well, it's going to support a, you know, eighty thousand, seventy thousand pound vehicle. Right. Yeah. Next. Next. That's their oil heating system. There's two of those boilers. The boiler, yep. Next. Electric panel room. Next. 
they, they also have like a central electrical room as opposed to the small panels around the <coughs> facility next and when you went to their outlets because they were like an essential location every outlet had what panel and break which is supposed to do it anyway you're supposed oh. to label them where they put where it's so if it trips you know where to go looking for it hmm. that's just their hot water surface system next <coughs> That's the floor that was in their office. Epoxy. As opposed to tile floor, it's like an epoxy coated. On top of the cement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That that <coughs> was nice. That's nice. That's nice because vinyl tiles don't hold up anymore. We I believe that. that. And certainly in the locker rooms, and I think they you saw that in Deerfield. But yeah. It's expensive, yeah. but yeah. It's certainly if you go if you go to Big Wire Stop a Shop, they they replace all their tile floors with this with this stuff in half. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, tiles just, they don't last anymore. Yeah. They took the asbestos yeah. out of them. They, you know. <laughs> well, I mean, when they, when, like I said, when, when the asbestos, when they had to take the asbestos out of tile floors, tile floors just, Same with shingles. They're, they're, they're junk now. Um, next, more better view of the floor. There is a slight uh, texture to that, so it's mm -hmm. not real slippery. That's yeah. good. I think this is the last photo. That's probably it. Yeah. The biggest problem with that is they got to wash it yeah. fairly frequently, especially when the mechanics or the, the people from the shop walk in there. So it, it can be a little bit extra effort to keep it clean because it does get into the nooks and crannies. Mm -hmm. But it's also way more durable than tile. Mm -hmm. So that is the two facilities. I'll briefly go over, I don't think you want to hear the presentation, but I'll briefly go over what I was going to put up when we talked to the, to the uh, select board. I'll give the presentation. Anybody, as I'm talking, feel free if you've got two cents to add to that. I'm not trying to make this my show, this is our show. Um, so if you've got something that you want to add certain points to it, you know, it's only, I got like two and a half pages of notes. Um, there's not a lot going to be to it. I don't think they're going to want to see any pictures. Uh, if they are, we can show, show, show them some pictures, but I don't think they're going to want to see any or not. I'll have to ask them. He has a PowerPoint. JP has a PowerPoint. Oh, JP has a PowerPoint? I do. I guess you didn't share that one. But, um, uh, I have a printout of it, at least, so you can get a sense if you want to oh, okay. include that. And Jim, I can tell you after doing many of these, you definitely want pictures. Okay. Yeah, as soon as you can, get those pictures out. It's the visuals that people are going to remember. Okay. I've got a separate list on there of pictures just for the select board. As I'm saying, because otherwise there's like, I've got 300 pictures of the book. I think there's around 40 pictures um, just for the select board to go through if they want to see pictures. Yeah, I don't know if they want to go through all that you guys visited, because really what they want to know is at the end of all of this, what are you guys going to recommend? Yeah, and then they I don't got, want to even help with the decision making as far as at yeah, this I, I, level. I've got part of my presentation is recommendation. Yeah. Okay. How much time do we have for our presentation, roughly? You Joyce know. will tell you two minutes. What? <laughs> Joyce will tell you two oh, minutes. <laughs> but no, she's. I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding. Joyce and I joke about that a lot. But um, I, I think they want to know, I think the important thing that they need to know is how much work has you guys have all put into this, that you're working with a professional and that you're working with a really experienced board. I think you should reintroduce everybody and what they're, what they're bringing to the table. And then um, I don't know how you and JP want to work it out. But I do think, um, I think, I don't know what your notes say, um, but I think it's good to hear from the chair. Um, and I do think then bringing in the professional to come in and kind of bring that okay. presentation. Okay. I can, okay, that's fine, because I've got, part of my presentation is a little bit of nostalgia of the old town garage, how the existing town garage got built, because that, it's a little bit interesting that there was a committee of five. They had ten meetings. They designed their own garage 
including the plans for the detailed construction, had the plans stamped by a professional engineer that they knew, and the chairman of the building committee was the clerk of the works, and they built the garage and occupied it in 1971 for $15,000. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I know all these details is because my father was on the building committee. One of the members. He was not the one that did the design. He he was a town accountant at the time. No um, So they, he was the financial guy, if you would. Mm -hmm. And the other committee member. Did I put him on here? No, I didn't. But one. Um, I mean, well, a few of us. Sort of Roland Van Oss was on it. Um, Mr. Neeland. Uh, my father. I put the. I didn't put the names on here, but I don't want to make a big deal about the names either in public. Um, except that the reason I know those details about the stamping of the drawings and designing it themselves was my father was said, yeah, he says, Roland drew it up. He says, we drew, looked at it. He says, Roland just detailed it. He had new PE. They put a stamp on it. We bid it. He says, and he was clerk of the works, and uh, it was built for that. Off we go. Nice. <laughs> Now you can barely get a door put up for that. Oh, uh, wait till you see what has to be put in place for the building like this. But anyways, okay. Um, then I go on to talk about a building, you know, a bit of our committee, and I'll introduce the members, what our task was, um, some of the things that we wanted to not do was not to take prime farm land, didn't want to be invasive with neighbors, Obviously, cost is a concern, and we didn't want to take anything by eminent domain. We wanted to make sure it was a friendly uh, place. I was going to mention a few of the sites that we looked at and why we didn't use them, um, didn't choose them, and why we did choose what we did. And <coughs> probably that would be. A good time for you to make at that point you can take it over and talk about all this all of these things that we're looking at what we want to incorporate yeah I mean what this does because we did do a, I wasn't part of it but we did do a presentation I think a year ago last fall that was right at the beginning of our study I don't I think we have maybe even hadn't done the operations interviews yet perhaps but so it gave sort of an overview of the existing conditions at the building so I, I left that very brief just as sort of as a reminder from that previous presentation um, and then I just go through briefly kind of the steps that you guys took um, you know going through the the programming part um, looking at the site uh, analysis that we did I sort of uh, glossed through that the end part of it because in, in the end we kind of left the scoring a little bit more subjective right because it was in the end it was decided that the best location really is the existing for the reasons you just mentioned so right. I think that's fine uh, and then I go into you know some of the constraints on the existing site um, and and sort of the process of concepts that we went through you know the whole iteration of the concepts and then finally the costs so you know, we sort of had these three first cost concepts and then you know we're right now at that concept what we call 3b where we added we're adding in that additional vehicle storage garage or what's at that full 16,000 um, and it's the uh, the current plan shows um, you know the, the garage and maintenance and two-story admin kind of consolidated keeping the existing building basically untouched um, and then a salt shed at the back and the fuel island near the front and then I just briefly touch on kind of what the next steps are. Um, you know, some public outreach strategies. Uh, I don't know how far you want to get into that detail, but um, that's kind I'm of. I'm not sure how. Well. Yeah, how. So I wouldn't worry about time. I, I, and I know it's, it's actually going to end up being harder on Scott afterwards because it's kind of a DPW night tonight uh. <laughs> after the public input. Um, is going to be before you guys, so that's right. going to. Be, I can't predict how long that's going to be. I, I, but um, that could be brief. I got a feeling that's going to be 
a lot. We never know. Yeah. But I don't I don't want that to take any value away from this presentation because it's such a huge investment for the community. Yeah. I think the more information we can provide, Randy, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I just think you this is so important that I think this we're kinda like halfway through. Right. And I think this is a good time to this is really a start of the outreach. So I think I think they want to know, because I think if you ask any community, the hardest thing is getting the communication out to the community so they understand. You know, I, we just finished a huge 12-year project building a senior center in my community, and people will still say, did you see that big new building they're starting? <laughs> 12 years, and we thought we just was just had over, over um, educated people. So I, I don't think you can possibly over educate people about what this is, and especially when they see the, considerable cost it's going to be. Yeah, and I think the more you provide, it also uh, contributes to the, to the people's knowledge that we didn't just do this in 10 minutes. Exactly. You know, we spent a lot of time considering all these things, so hopefully that'll help them to understand. Okay. Okay, sure. And then, uh, you know, last I do. Uh, it's pretty brief on funding. I don't know if you know sort of funding strategies. I, I don't know if we want to add anything to that or that's sort of further discussion. No, because I'll I'll let them know that I have kept our legislators updated about okay. this, and then also a, a new piece of legislation that's trying to go through, which is the new municipal building authority. Oh, that's going to be significant, and yeah. that's also a push. I hope that people will contact their legislators to say you got to. Towns, towns this size cannot afford to put these buildings up. We need help. Oh, so there would be funding available. Well, it's in it's it's uh, in the legislature right now. It, it, so it it's, it's to being be, discussed. Being okay. dis it's you, know, you know how it's, quick that goes. It's yeah. sponsored. <laughs> well, it has to go through this year. Um, so there's a lot of support for it, and people have been very vocal about it. But it would be wonderful. They have just got to also fund it. So. Yeah. You've got to fund it and then decide who gets it. Yeah. yeah. It'll, it'll, it'll be along the idea, if, if, if I'm correct on it, similar to the way they do the uh, school funding for new schools. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we'll be probably in the order of a 30%, 27% reimbursement. That'd be tremendous. Every, it would be tremendous. And the, 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 that, the, why this is so important, this timing is, is because if this does pass, they want project ready projects. They're not going to be, you know, Okay. So to, to have a project that is this ready would be yeah. amazing. Well, so it's like the school funding. You, you can't, you can apply, but unless you have, being on the school building committee, I doubt that that has changed a lot as far as they want. You can't apply for the funding until you're ready to put a shovel to the dirt. Mm -hmm. A lot of our mass works programs are like that, which makes it hard for Hadley because you can't always afford the You know, they don't, they don't want you to apply for funding and, oh, no, I think I'll design it. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Well, that's the other thing, too. We need to let them know that if you're going to go with this forward with this in the fall, that we need to be prepared to get on this right away once the drawings are done or all this time and stuff is just going to, your money's going to have to be all redone. But this has to go through town meeting next spring. Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, and I think that's something that the select board could have discussions about when they want to put it forward and speaking to the finance yeah. team and yeah. the finance yeah. committee. Cause you have to pay for the designer fee, but you also have to pay. You have to you have to assign an OPM as well. Yeah. Which the, uh, the the budget that you prepared, JP, that that's out two years. Is that right? Correct. That's for 2025. Yes, that's okay. escalation in there. Correct. Yeah. You want to make sure that they understand that that it's not it's not today's dollar. It's mm -hmm. two years from now. Yeah. Correct. Right. It's three years. Take from you now. a year to get to the. Right. I think it's two years. Two years. Around, two years? Okay. <coughs> so, and who knows? what will happen in construction in two years. I mean, it could be the same as today. It could be insane. <coughs> different. Some stuff is actually going down. Yeah. I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, given the pr idea of price and range is, we're going to put a silly little bell tower in front of the ho most Holy Redeemer Church. So we've got a price for just the foundation. We already have the steel. For the for the digging the hole for the belts a three prong just a three 35 foot bell tower something like that right and a bell's going to hang in the middle no enclosure around it just wide open steel um concrete foundation with three posts and then 
pave the outside area where that circle is. Basically re-level it. The price is ranged for this basic scope of work for four bidders from 99000 to 300 <laughs> And that's not prevailing wage. No. no. I that's almost spoke when I, when I, I saw the 99000 I said, well, that's expensive. Did I realize that was for all of the excavation work, repaving, removing, doing curbing? I said, well, that's not a bad price. And most, it was, three, it was four prices, 99 102 and 120 I said, 90, who's he? These 99, one or two get together, so they decided they could put the same bid in. And then we get the, the fourth one today, 275000 no. I said, well, I guess he doesn't want the job. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, what a range. And it's not, like I said, it's not a monster amount of work, but it's extremely pricey. So they're all over. Okay. Well, sounds like a plan. So, JP, they're going to say, okay, what's it going to cost? Are you prepared? Yeah, it's, right, <laughs> it's right in there. Know, but yeah. I'm just saying. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, we, we do have charts and things that show escalation and so on. I did, yeah. I did not include those, but I think it's kind of common knowledge about it. They're not going to be surprised. Yeah. Construction costs these right. days. But Hopefully the board will understand that it's just an estimate. And yeah, I mean, the point is uh, part of the next steps are, you know, how far do you want to take a design before you decide to procure that amount of money, right? Like, at what point do you want to say this is what it's going to cost? Mm -hmm. This is, yeah, a conceptual estimate based on square foot costs right now. What they may want to know is if we just go for design, what would the design fee be? To get to get construction available, ready drawings. Yeah, you've got a number for that. I do. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. What is it? Um, it's about two and a half million. I was say five thousand, two and a half million. Something yeah. like that. Right. And then, I, I don't know what the percentage is for an OPM usually for a project. We usually carry around four percent, so that's about a million dollars, less than a million dollars. What's FFE mean? That's furniture, essentially, and computers and printers and things like that that wouldn't normally be under the contract. And there is a pretty healthy design contingency in there, which is meant to cover everything that's not been designed yet, essentially, right? And it is, it is like 20%. It's a big chunk. But, you know, at such a high concept, high level concept, we have to have that in there. Oh well, yeah, sure. it's, it's too early not to cover yourself. Exactly. Right. right, right. Yeah, when you get the design done, then you can, okay, then you can get a more accurate. Yeah. Your OPM comes in exactly. and checks. And, in, you know. in theory, we end up with the same number with a design contingency of zero, essentially. But hopefully we come in with a similar number. Okay. Um, there's also a construction contingency as part of those soft costs, uh, and I carried about six percent. That's you know for construction, just okay. unknowns during construction. Okay. Good. Um, let's see. Though we won't adjourn this meeting. We'll just recess it, and then we agree. Redo it or re re reopen when the select board meets in case there's anything we got to do. Plus, it, that way it just gives everybody a chance to make comments without being in kind of any kind of a conflict. I don't know if we're going to be need anything, but I don't want to. The select board and me are getting too many uh, open meeting law complaints lately for <laughs> silly things. Okay. You think? <laughs> Spend a lot of time on it. <laughs> Uh, anyways, our favorite person. Yeah. So, do um, you want to make a motion to adjourn this meeting until recon to reconvene at the select board meeting? I just want to get the next one. Do we um, next meeting? When? I mean, I don't see a, a need for another meeting anytime too soon. But I just want to know what we should be discussing if we do have one. I think that, that I, I would say I would still keep pretty steady. We, we have to 
work with JP as far as an ed education and outreach. That, ha that has to start, like I would say, by the summer's end at the latest. Okay. If we're going for a spring, if that's what I'm hearing, you guys are thinking annual town meeting, not special town meeting. Oh, no, no. We, we, we will, we, we're not ready for a fall town meeting. We want to make sure that we get a lot of stuff out there for people. Great. I mean, for annual town meeting seems to be, it just seems. Are you talking about the design funding or the? Des design. Wait, okay, design money. Spring. Okay. Yeah. Because if we go for, I mean, putting that kind of money in a fall town meeting to me just seems wrong. It seems like it should be an annual to ask for that much money. We'll make sure it's on the, um, uh, the capital plan because we are moving towards a direction where a lot of just like we did last year a lot of our um, capital expenses are going to be focusing on a special town meeting like that's where that focus is going to be so we're trying to plan our how, how we okay. present those warrants and balance it out um, but we are in the middle of a long-term um, capital okay. plan and so we need this so badly because we have some significant things that are coming up that they're going to start to battle for the attention and so we just got to be able to put this in the right place where it's going to succeed so it's a priority i can tell okay. you I, I think when i talk to any select board member they understand that setting next meeting but getting into the summer i know you're extremely busy now possibly possibly, um, possibly. <laughs> get the peas all picked today Hopefully. some yeah Plus, he's, he's had a good growing season so far. It's been a little cool, though. Yeah, a little bit cool, but I mean, it's nice. You get some rain, some sun. It, it, it's other it's very comfortable working. Yeah. But the plants would like it warmer. Yeah, well, like, yeah. And, and the cool nights <laughs> is a bigger thing, too. Yeah. Eating the ground, Wally. Anyway, <laughs> um, how's, how is July, August for people for vacation? I'm gone the 19th of July and the 20-something of August. Yeah, I've got For a week at a time? Yeah. Okay. I'm Anybody? Gone in August. Hmm? I'm gone in August for a couple weeks. Any idea which weeks? I think second, third, but I'm not positive. <laughs> so it'll be like... Uh, First week in August would work for me and Tommy. Okay. Jim, do it before July 26, before we start cutting tobacco, okay? That works for everybody. I can see this, right? So we can help you cut tobacco. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you have the date set already when you're ready? We're optimistic, yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> you, you have a left-handed uh, hatchet. <laughs> no, there's no such thing. <laughs> you just got to learn, Randy. I yeah. did it. I, I, I've done it. I can't remember God. what I had to do. Walk backwards. <laughs> backwards, <or not>. probably. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. yeah. yeah, you're going the opposite way. Right. Else. Yeah. Oh, you did your role opposite of everybody. <laughs> no, I can no, see no, that. No, no, no. I just, I think I backed into it where everybody was going forward. <laughs> okay, before July 20th. How about to do that? How about what if we set a meeting for 719? That's a Wednesday. Okay, I won't be I'm here. going to be gone. Oh, you're leaving. Okay, how about uh, today's the 25th? How about the 25th, Tuesday before? That are I'm, I'm gone the 25th. Not. I won't be here. I'm gone 24, 25, 26. Um, no, I'll be, I'll be back on the 26th. You go That's okay. That's all your help. That's okay. We'll be there for you. Um... And of course, in August, you once you start, you you want that's a whole that's a whole month for you, right? Month plus. Easily. but I, I'm not. You don't have to do this around me. I mean, I'm just one of everybody here. Yeah. Let's see, one. So the next first and third, seven nineteen. Yeah, there's a bunch of guys off nineteen. That's no good. You're back, Randy. Seven nineteen. You're back the twenty sixth, the twenty fifth. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'll be I'll be nineteenth through I think the twenty third. Okay. We're just going for four days. Going from my grandkids to Maine. Hopefully I'll be sane when I get back. <laughs> How's seven twenty six everybody? That's fine. That good? Yep. Okay. Let's hmm? Wednesday, right? That's a Wednesday, yeah. 
Okay, so let's set 726 as our next meeting. Yeah. Four o'clock again. Four o'clock. That good for everybody? Yeah. 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 Okay. Then we can uh, decide our plan of action. That that one's going to be. This one's going to be actually starting to talk about communication. Right. You know, advertising, for lack of a better term, public relations. So since Alex is in the room, Alex can be a big help with that. Um, <laughs> just being able to utilize uh, Hadley Media to do that. Um, I think we could come up with some creative ways to, you know. Not, not just showing a meeting, but being able to make me interview a few people, get some yeah. visuals. I think. Yeah. Thank you for volunteering, Alex. Oh yeah, you're welcome. Anytime. <laughs> um, <coughs> the, Jim, do you want me to email you to schedule a time to talk about what we could do? Sure. Okay. You might want to include JP into it, or maybe because you might have what some about ideas. Having you come to that next meeting. Select board. You gotta be. It has to be a slot non-select board night. If we do, I have to do a meeting. I think it is, isn't it? No. We're looking at 20, July twenty seven twenty six. I think the nineteenth is like what seven seven twenty six the fourth Tuesday of the month. That's not. Seven. Okay. Uh, twenty six of the fourth. Yes. All right. I'll put it in my calendar. I'll be Thanks, there. Alex. Put me on the agenda. Okay. I'll, I'll I'll send you a copy of the agenda too. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Now we can do a temporary now, Motion to adjourn this meeting until the we reconvene at the select board meeting at whatever time we're on their agenda. Second. Motion second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes.